13 Cosmic Law Astrology, University of Cosmic Mysteries in Dark. I'm the Dark Lord Ruler of the Dark Worlds. Give you a quick update on my moon ritual and what my altar is looking like now. What you putting on your plate, yo? I got the attachment on my plate, man. I got the pomegranate. I got the apple. I got the cucumber. I got. I gave you the metaphysics on the cucumber. I already did the video and gave you the metaphysics and the science on the cucumber. Q, this is your Q. Come back home. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got the uh, the carrot and the, and the and the strip of. Hold on. I got the carrot and the strip of raw cinnamon. All right. You know what I'm saying? See over here. Got the jack, the moonstone, the seashell, the arm, the uh, crystal made out of the skull and shit. Another candle and shit. I got important stones over there surrounding that candle that I dedicated to uh, to Ra. I'm in Ra. You see a lot of fire coming off of that uh, off of that candle. The flame is lifted off of the the wick that's on the candle, so it let you know that the spirits is here. You know what I'm saying? And that it's that it's a lot of energy here right now. You know what I'm saying? I got super conductor crystals over here. Crystals all over the place. You know what I'm saying? To amplify the energies that's around here. I got I got um, a little small little oil burner with a tea candle underwards. And up here I have the energy of bay leaves, um, elephant plant leaf, um, cinnamon, all kind of different things working with different kind of energies. For every masculine energy, I have a feminine energy to it. You know what I'm saying? This is a blend, the herbal blend that I created at the top right there. You can see the herbal blend right here. I created all of this. I'm working with this kind of energy. And as the tea candle fire burns, you know what I'm saying? It's illuminating. All of that energy is, 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 in, is in my sphere of reality. And that's changing the atmospheres now. I have a green bottle dealing with the green heart chakra. Dealing with, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, dealing with the green heart, dealing with love and attracting wealth. My help is my wealth, motherfucker. Like indigenous like I said, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got the uh, the green water bottle. Green is the color of the heart chakra, but uh, I got the water just because that's the water element. I just want to bring in the water element. The fire on the candles is the fire element. The rocks is the earth element. You know what I'm saying? Fruit right here. All, the, all kind of energy going on in my altar right now. You know what I'm saying? Pomegranates. I got a, uh, a cone that fell off. At a beach that I was at, that I named after me, Dark Lord Yukili Osai and shit. You know what I'm saying? Apples, oranges, pomegranates, you know what I'm saying? Carrots and shit, cantaloupe, bananas, all kind of crystals. Crystals hiding under the plate and shit. Just crystals all over the place. Beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Then I got my colored candles back there getting ready to uh to, to do some more rituals with those colored candles over there. Each color represents something. Yellow deals with attracting friendship, uh, making amends and friendships and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Sending out warnings to these motherfuckers. All kind of shit. Yellow deals with a lot of different kind of energies. Green is the heart chakra. So you actually burn the green candle. You actually burn. You actually burn that green candle. You know what I'm saying? To uh, attract love. If you want to get back in the dating scene or you want the man or the woman of your dreams, you burn a green candle. That's the color of the heart chakra. Also burn a green candle if you're dealing with wealth. You know what I'm saying? If you want to attract physical money into your sphere of reality, burn a green candle. You know what I'm saying? Um, the red candle is, is, is if you already in a relationship and you want to spice your shit up, passion, motivation, sex drive, all that shit, sex appeal, all that, burn a red candle. Blue dealing with the throat chakra. Uh, Creativity, uh, communication, strengthen your expression, your ability to express yourself through dance, through poetry, through art, any of the arts. C -c Kung fu, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, motherfucking acting, whatever the fuck. Poetry, whatever. Burn a blue candle and get your shit on. You know what I'm saying? The pink candle in the background. All this shit is, is relevant. All this shit means something. You know what I'm saying? So this is what my author is looking like now. In the beginning, I showed you that when I started the, the ritual and shit, it was real, it was real, like real small, and it had nothing on the table. It just, I, just, I was already burning this, this, this ritual right here. You can see, I'm doing, I, I'm doing three rituals at a time. 
right here. I was already burning this candle. This candle been burning for a few days now. And I got a pink contract under the yellow candle. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and I have a sea salt ring. A ring of sea salt around that. You know what I'm saying? So that was already going and shit. And I just started putting up the extra rocks and the extra fruits to dedicate it to the gods and the ancestors and everything. So that's what it's looking like now. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's looking like now. Just to update everything is going good. You can see a lot of fire, a lot of fire coming off of that motherfucking uh, candle right there. You know what I'm saying? When the fire is high off of the wick of the candle, then you know that, you know what I'm saying, your ritual is going good and there's a lot of energy. When the fire is low, then what you can do is you can, when the fire is low off the wick of the candle, then what you can do is you can actually um, amplify the energies that surround you by just putting up a few uh, pieces of fruit. Maybe put some tobacco up there or some marijuana or something, you know what I'm saying, just to give them that energy. They can draw and pull off of that energy that's in the tobacco, the, you know, put a glass of wine or a glass of, you know, um, some liquor, some hard liquor and shit, some rum or some um, some rum or some, some wine, you know what I'm saying, some brandy or something, motherfucker, put some drink up there, nigga, and let the motherfuckers drink on that shit and pull from that energy. Put some fruit up there, some water, something. Create an atmosphere where they can just start drawing strength and energy from that so that they can come into this realm and into your sphere of reality and work for you. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is what the altar looking like now. Quick little update and shit. It ain't no excuse, yo. Look how small this motherfucking room is. I'm in the hotel, yo. I got shit. I got this blender right here. I'm finna put this to work tomorrow, yo. I got a uh, fiberware blender. This motherfucker clean. I'm finna put that to work tomorrow. Shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, probably give you some updates on some uh some smoothie work and shit that I'm doing. But this is what's going on right now, yo. Behind the scenes of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology, this shit don't stop. Motivation. Motivation, yo. 13 Cosmic Law Astrology, University of Cosmic Mysteries, and Dark. I'm the Dark Lord, ruler of them dark worlds. Elohim, motherfucker, I be speaking for her.